Also featured on the women's uh, Evo is the first sight of our latest evolution of the Cannondale Holo hologram crank. Um, this is called the Cannondale SISL2 with OPI spider ring. And uh, the hologram cranks were the cranks that started the whole BB30 revolution, and we've been evolving them ever since. This is the latest evolution in that, uh, in that line. With this, you, um, we have optimized the crank arms even further using uh, some pretty sophisticated FEA analysis. We were able to see exactly where uh, material wasn't needed. We could machine any excess material away. Um, these are hollow clamshell half arms that are bonded together. So the hollow chamber inside, we actually um, redistributed some of the material in there so that we changed wall thicknesses in some places, making them thinner in some places, thicker in other places. The net result was we were able to drop weight out of the arms and end up with a stiffer arm, which is kind of the engineering holy grail. But uh, the real story behind these rings has got to be the, the OPI spider ring. Um, our engineers, in their quest to optimize these things, just kept looking at the the traditional spider and chain ring setup where you have uh, a spider and two rings and five chain ring bolts and they just were looking at the amount of redundant material there and thinking there's got to be a better way that we can definitely save weight and increase stiffness. So um, we looked at a lot of different things. We took inspiration from uh, a number of different places but most notably uh, auto racing wheels and the way that the multi-spoke uh, configurations were enabled them to distribute the loads really evenly throughout the structure. So we came up with our spider ring 10 arm design. Um, this, this is uh, 3D forged out of a single piece of aluminum using our OPI one piece integration patented technology. Um, by forging it out of a single piece of material, you get really uniform grain alignment, which leads to a stronger structure than it would be if we just simply had machined it out of a block of billet. So it's entirely one piece. All the arms, the inner ring and the outer ring are connected. The advantage to that is that you get no deflection between your inner ring and your outer ring, which leads to incredibly crisp and precise shifts. Um, along that line, we also spent a lot of time working on the shift ramps and pins. So we actually set up a structure whereby we were testing it against the best shifting cranks that we could find on the market, um, utilizing a DI2 system to take the human error out of the equation. And so we came up with a really sophisticated series of ramps and pins that actually incorporate the backside of the arms as part of the ramp. So um, the upshot is, is that this is uh, a crank set that not only is the lightest crank set that you can buy, with the exception of some exotic carbon things, um, but also the best shifting of any of the main cranks. It's on par with Durace in terms of shift smoothness. So uh, it's kind of a win-win and it looks really cool. <laughs>